Hey guys, Surgeon here. Now, welcome to a new video. In this video, we're going to be going through birdhouse runs. Now, it was brought up in my CC that someone was talking about birdhouses and how good they were, and a lot of the people in the CC had no idea what they really were. So this video is going to outline basically what birdhouses are, how to make them, what's their purpose, and how to do them as quickly as possible, or at least their location, and you can figure out the fastest way for yourself. And then finally, why you would do them in the first place. So without further ado, let's get into this guide but first and foremost all my social media is in the description cc discord twitter and twitch all down there all right let's hop into this so how do birdhouses work well there's four birdhouse locations on fossil island and all you have to do is take a birdhouse you put it on the spot it doesn't require a hammer or anything not a chisel or saw or anything you just take the birdhouse and you put it on the spot you fill it with 10 seeds 10 hop seeds or five wild blood seeds. So I use hammerstone seeds in the video, but you can use barley seeds, jute seeds, you know, whatever's cheapest. You need 10 of those or five wild blood seeds and you put those into the birdhouse and then you go away for like 50 minutes, five zero. After 50 minutes, it, all the seeds will be gone and 10 birds will have been caught. You will get one raw bird meat per bird that was caught. And then you'll have a random chance of getting uh, bird nests as well. Now the higher level of birdhouse you have is actually going to affect um, the rate at which you get birdhouses, but even at the lower tier you still do have a chance of getting birdhouses. You get anywhere from 280 hunter experience when you have a full birdhouse all the way up to 1200 and with four you know obviously multiply that by four. On a birdhouse run you get 4800 hunter experience when you have redwood birdhouses. And if you notice, 50 minutes, that's slightly less than an herb run. So if you're doing your herb runs, this is something very simple to add on to an, er to an herb run that you're already doing in order to make a little bit of extra hunter experience without actually having to train it. So in order to start doing these, we obviously need access to Fossil Island. In order for that, you need to have the quest Bone Voyage completed. Once you've gotten that done, you only need five crafting and five hunter to create the most basic level of birdhouse. Now that scales all the way up to the redwood birdhouses, which require 90 crafting and 89 hunter. And obviously the higher birdhouse you have, you get more hunter experience. But you can obviously start as low as possible or as low as five in both your hunter and your crafting level. And then as you get gain levels, you can change your birdhouses accordingly. Now on the screen, you're going to have a video of me actually making birdhouses. These are super simple to make. You just need logs and a clockwork mechanism. Obviously, it scales with whatever level you, you have, but this is how you make them. The important thing to know is that you do get the clockwork mechanism back when you dismantle the trap. You do not get the logs back though. So the logs go away, but the mechanism stays around. You can go ahead and buy the mechanisms on the Grand Exchange. They're probably about 1.2K. I think at the making of this video, they're around 1.2K. If that's a little too much for you, if you have 25 construction and eight crafting, you can just buy steel bars and make clockwork mechanisms on your own crafting table in your player own house. That's actually what I did. I made about a hundred of them and steel bars cost about 450 GP. So you invest a little bit of time and if you make a hundred of them, you save like 12K. It's not really worth it but very simple just need to have a hammer and your chisel in your inventory take 13 logs 13 clockwork mechanisms and then just build your birdhouses once you've done that the only other thing that you need to have with you is when we go to put these down on fossil island in order to lay some kind of bait with them you either need 10 hop seeds so 10 of any kind of hops so that could be barley i use hammer stone jute seeds any kind of hop seed or if you're using the wild blood seed you only need five of them so make sure you've got those in your inventory before you proceed forward with going to fossil island all right now as you can see my outfit has changed a little bit but we need to be at the point where we're at the boat to go to fossil island so the easiest way to get here is to obviously use a dig site pendant that's what i use however mine disintegrated as you can see in the text box so i did have one and it's gone i've got my four birdhouses with me i've got 40 hammerstone seeds if you're using wild blood you only need 20 of them and i have a way to get back to my house so i can get back to doing whatever it was i'm doing so let's go ahead and do the run all right, we're going to go ahead and speed this up, but once you hit quick travel, you're going to run to the west immediately and run through the swamp. And then once you hit the swamp, run up the northwest. You're going to see a little maroonish looking patch on the ground. Go ahead and use your birdhouse on that and then use the seeds on it as well and select which seeds you want to use. Obviously, if you had different seeds in your inventory, you could select which seeds you want to use. 
run up north, follow the path, you'll come up to another patch at the northwest corner of the island. Again, do the same thing. And then you can use the mushroom trees to transport there if you've already unlocked this mushroom. If you haven't unlocked this mushroom, this is where the remaining two birdhouses are. If you haven't unlocked this mushroom, you are going to have to go there manually, and I'll show you that on the map right now. Basically, the path you'll want to take is you'll want to follow the mountain around. You'll want to walk through the volcano area, and you basically run around so you hit this little oasis area. Make sure that when you walk here the first time after you've done your bird traps, use the magical mushroom so that way you don't have to make this walk again like I did the first time I did it. So make sure that you follow this path and then use the magical mushroom to unlock it so you don't have to do this again. I also know that this path looks long. You may be thinking, Surgeon, I thought you said it was supposed to be quick and easy. It is, I promise you. But the first time that you do this, if you don't have this mushroom unlocked, you've got to put in the groundwork. And then, literally, you saw the run. It takes, like, two minutes, maybe. And that's it. Honestly, like, birdhouses are that quick and simple. Again, you can do these every 50 minutes, and the rewards are you can get one raw bird meat for everything you can catch. You get four to five feathers, and then you have a chance of getting bird Ness. And that's really the rewards you get besides the good amount of experience you get for really not having to do much. I'm sorry that this video is not very long. I do have to run out to a funeral tomorrow. Um, not really that big of a deal, but I will be out of town for the next three or four days. And I wanted to get this video out before I head out for that. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. If you want to see more content from the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to let me know what you really think, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. People are very vocal about that. Links to social media are all in the description. And with all that being said, you guys have a great night, morning, evening, whatever time of day it is. And let's take it to the end screen.